we're moving on to the celestial we have the last seven days we're showing total experience and this is the first through fifth positions and guess what nothing has changed here we have force at number one the scarlet legion at number two sanctuary at number three factory set at number four and at number five we have dead poet society now to show some difference here we have oops we have earned and you can see here that the top two guilds are earning the most while third through fifth pretty fair like pretty even across the board with their progress uh crazy five do you have any thoughts on so go, go to uh oh no i have total up already um the forest is killing it i think with the sanctuary members moving over to the forest they're continuing to kill it uh the past several wgs's they've been at top and uh, still dominating uh which has been phenomenal tsl as the pve uh number one pve guild on this leaderboard doing a fantastic job trying to stay with them there's still a huge gap between two and three uh which is, which is interesting to see uh factory reset has gone back to their old classic uh rain factory days and, and being stuck in fourth place close oh. to sanctuary but they are stuck in fourth place now oh. and and you know what uh dps i'm proud of those dudes over at dps absolutely crushing it being that pve guild and fifth place so oh yeah uh God. good job to everyone it's boring uh maybe fourth can change into third or or something it's it's close even with the earned it's close but uh yeah, yeah. it's always boring being uh being the top five i mean bro like force they have chaotic they have can yeah uh, they got Darren the heavy hitters there Darren was supposedly taking a break or something but he's like there kicking it so there's just no way they're gonna fail uh i have two two interesting observations what keeps sanctuary motivated after the whole bezel thing went down and two how does dps stay number five because every time i'm in that discord one it's dead and two keeper the guild leader is like yeah i'm like busy with school and it's so like disconnected from their guild but they're they have such like a, a tight circle it just it continues to put out i just don't understand they, it they chat in their guild chat in simple memo that's how they keep doing it they use guild okay <laughs> <laughs> all right let's move on to legendary tier uh six through ten positions we have murders of the universe at six gladiators aka italia at number seven prosser at number eight resolve at number nine and still friendly two at number ten um let's look at earned real quick okay yeah that's pretty good so changes here gladiators are actually showing signs of life when they were italia they were like hard stuck right so this is the most they've moved and under this new moniker and they've overpassed or they've overcome uh, prostor and resolve resolve has been on i don't really know if they're dead i mean we can look at oh my god earned uh but they are i mean i guess this is normal right like we usually crazy we usually see more exp earned at this level uh but it's, yeah this is like that 1.5 is more of like the top tier of the uh 20th place position ish yeah. that's where Maybe. we see that Maybe it's like because the the season just started, but uh, well, also because their their leadership got banned or muted yes. or whatever. So they claim like it's over, but they're still showing signs of life. We we don't know yet. We're waiting to see uh more here. But Crazy Fi, what do you think? Yeah, I'm really impressed by the Gladiators. They've been consistent for a while, but now they're rising, which is amazing to see in seventh place. So congrats to Gladiators for really doing well and getting the most earned out of this uh, tier too as well. So there, it could be signs of them getting sixth place, especially when the total is less than a mil, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and they're earning almost about more than a mil, at least for the past seven days. So fingers crossed uh I, I would like to see them overtake murderers of the universe and we all know murderers of the universe will fall down at some oh, point in the season anyway so uh, you know, like that, it's guaranteed at this point 100 uh don't you can quote it. me on that one uh i'm just good on resolve i guess for the past seven days to be able to earn some type of exp after they you know uh fell on their own so sword uh stupidly <laughs> if i might say so uh I fun say fact that. Uh, it was like I think it was yeah. It was, it was he was the uh, automation ban, wasn't he? That was the dude in our Discord. Yes, they were claiming, yes. they were claiming, you know, uh, the whole Babel thing, nineteen eighty four. But it was yeah. automation. Like, what, what do you think? Galaxy yeah. Creative is like, let's just freaking fake automation and ban them. No, that's not no. happening. 
They had no. alts and they were using automation. All right. So to all of them who are going around, you know, oh, 1984, Mike has always targeted us. One, no one even knows who the hell you are, by the way. And two, automation. That's all you got to say. Yeah, probably not a good idea to uh, decide to join the Babel camp after everything that was released about that guild and why they got banned. I still so. don't understand why people use that as a defense. Like, just like Babel said, it's like, no, but what we have already know what happened. It was really bad for some of those people. Not the, the entire guild, but some of those people. Anyway, yeah. anyway, where's all the friendly yeah. guilds have? Uh, dude, what happened? I just Still friendly too? Note. He's holding on, baby. Nah, they're barely there, but like, where's friendly? They're bottom. Bottom tier now. She okay. Also, welcome Welski and Kasu to the stream. Like the stream while you're here. Thank you so much. Now let's hope Welski doesn't let me down today. All right, moving on to epic tier. We have 11 through 15. We have slums out of all the guilds. We have freaking slums at number 11. We have golden arrows at number 12. Woof. I say woof for golden arrows because I love <laughs> them so much. But wolf flood at number 13. Woof woof, my actual guild. We have the cult at 14. Unbelievable. And Requiem of Lost Souls, which rest in peace, they're, I think they're going to get deleted uh, at number 15. So, uh, and, and when I say we think Requiem is going to get deleted, RLS, uh, Shadow in our Discord released a screenshot of their guild leader basically saying they're getting drafted into the army. I don't know where they are at, where they're at, obviously not the US. And they're deleting the guild or the guild's being disbanded. Uh, they they use the word delete, but they're still here. Um, at least when I checked a couple hours ago. So, unfortunate for them, they were new blood um and then what they were renamed, right? Were they Jubilee? They're old blood. Yeah. New, old uh, blood uh, trying to be new blood. revival renamed to Requiem of Lost Souls. So, I mean, Re Jaboku Revival was a uh, newer <laughs> guild that had come around and then they dipped and then now they came back and now the dude's getting drafted. So, unfortunate, but that that is the life of Supplemo, I guess. Wolski, Wolski says, uh, RLS stole half my members. Well, dude, maybe we could get them back. Dude. <laughs> Now's the perfect time. Be a better guild leader, man. Offer Pizza Fridays. Pizza but Fridays. Do you have any... Yeah. Any other thoughts on this? Uh, yeah, uh, no surprise with blood dropping down. Um, you know, classic right there. Golden arrows. Uh, bummer to see them go down. I, it is what it I'm is. Not worried but about it. Slums has been doing real, really well since they went to PvP. So good, uh, good on them because they are a newer guild. They were on the uh, PVE port run for a while and they tr switched over to PvP. So good on them. Uh, Colt. Uh, there's consistency there, so Rosary may be, you know, consistent. We'll see. Uh, and then, yeah, bummer to see Requiem of Lost Souls uh, drop out, because they just showed back up on the scene, and, yeah. and then he's just like, I'm getting drafted. Sorry, guys. Yeah. So, life. <laughs> what can <Yeah>. you do? <laughs> uh, but, wild. <laughs> but the, they're still, most of these guilds are earning more than what we saw with, like, Murders of the Universe and result yeah. and stuff like yeah yeah, yeah. so there's definitely probably going to be movement if it keeps yeah. up like this that's why i was like mm, that looks pretty low for uh five through ten. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, for sure but yeah moving on with we'll blood shadow bro it's all thanks to me dude that's why we're following <laughs> uh moving on to elite and we have 16 through 20th we have frontier obviously dead <laughs> they're dead as you can see through their earned um that which is unfortunate rest in peace uh kiwi laid it to rest obviously 17 we have demo good for, or dgk excuse me good for you demo we have 18 zzk at 19 we have asgard moving three positions forward which is huge for them and then at 20th we have shadow garden look at totals here pretty even across the board like very close very close here obviously frontiers a, a log that's going to be stepped over uh, but looking at earned, I mean, Asgard's showing, and then DJK showing promise here. What do you think? Yeah, uh, it's great to see Asgard come back. Congrats to Jason on finding, I guess, the time or the ability to revive the the uh, guild again. So nice job. Um, I have something diff. Uh, no, it's about the same. Um, but anyways, there's some there's some other changes probably on the other side but because i have asgard showing only moving up two positions now mm -hmm. um on mine 
Yeah, I opened I this refreshed like right before. four hours ago, maybe. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Um, but either way, love to see ZZK moving up. I love this guild. Zelth Zenith Bro, they were hard stuck rare tier. What the hell? They were on? hard stuck, and now they're moving up. Bye bye. <laughs> uh, it's sad to see Frontier be that log for this season, but it is what it is. Um, Shortly later. Yeah. Congrats to DGK for keeping it going, and uh, you know, Exam Garden out there is just struggle busting it. So yeah. hopefully they stick around in the top twenty five, but we'll see. Uh, but yeah, move yeah. on. I'm I'm hoping one because I love Jason, uh, Jason Chief. So I'm hoping Asgard shows some, you know, some some forward yeah. momentum from yeah. uh, moving, you know, positions forward into elite. And you know, I'm not like the biggest fan of Demo and his guilds in the past, but they're he's been very consistent. This is the longest yeah. I've seen him actually like be a guild leader because very he, consistent. Like Demo and Lucas, they're known for just like giving up halfway through or just like getting too busy um you know doing math homework i don't know what they do uh lucas what's up i see you showing up in chat but anyway i'm actually kind of like watching demo and dgk and being like hmm, i hope you guys do good i hope you get into the next tier so uh yeah that's all i got let's move on to rare tier all right oof so we got black dragon i have i have drama for you ladies and gentlemen but we have black dragon at 21 moving down three positions we have wisteria at 22 moving down one who the hell's wisteria dude is that a rename i have no idea who the frick is wisteria uh chat help me friendly at 23 womp fear the unknown at 24 rest in peace lily it's just it's hard like why <laughs> the reminder every time we do this and then the knights who say ye at 25 which is no surprise Oh, so EF renamed Wisteria. That's Welski. Oh, it's Welski. Yeah, it's Welski. That's why you guys are, like, falling. You renamed. You can't do that. All right. Branding is hard. So, real quick. So, mm -hmm. there's a lot of drama with Black Dragon. I'm only going to cover one portion of it because I have all the info on that portion. Uh, but <laughs> that huge band wave that knocked out, you know, Resolve and, yeah. you know, tons of players for automation and ults. Well, yeah. Black Dragon was affected by that. Um, they run their guild with squads. It's really cool, crazy fight. It's it's literally like military base. We're squads. There's squad leaders. There's lieutenants. There's you know all okay. that shit. And yeah. there was two players. Uh, I'm gonna say their names because they're banned. But Pun and the Nepi or Nepi Nepe. I think it's Nepi. N E P E. Um, they were two. Uh, players in black dragon that were high up in these squads uh one became an advisor and they earned trust right they earned zankoku's trust which is the leader of black dragons and um they <laughs> they grind supposedly right when they first came into the scene they were heavy grinders everyone was in awe of their progress with the levels uh you know the the time and effort they put into um black dragon well those two uh, highly rated players within Black Dragon were smashed by the ban. Um, you know, for alts and botting. Uh, I don't know. You know, it, it might not apply to both of them, but one or the other or both right. of them. Um, well, they were using automation uh, for cheating. And there's two guild policies that are very important with Black Dragon. And that is um, one if a member is kicked usually for an activity they are welcome to rejoin the guild unless they are kicked for cheating the second policy is allowing trusted guild officers which they were to take out loans from the guild bank so that pl uh, pun player two days before being banned took most from their guild bank which was like 600 and something mils like 650 mil i believe uh around there i had the exact number and i'm pretty sure if that's it uh so they took this money out of the guild bank and then um you know these these loans are only authorized by the guild leaders and goku um but only with uh his permission and they didn't ask they just took the money and then that's over half of the guild funds and then you know got banned <laughs> and then also both of those players borrowed which you know they're gone now but borrowed several celestial items more than allowed from the the guild armory before a game banned so they cleaned house and then they got smashed <laughs> that's a bummer yeah but 
apparently there was a coup. Uh, apparently there was a tyrant. Uh, there was a bunch of stuff going on in the guild, uh, and this was sanctioned by the guild to allow me to tell the story. Uh, once more info comes out, I'll share the news. But ba basically, Black Dragon is focusing, they're transitioning to PvE and they're focusing on just power leveling and recouping. They lost over 30 members from Holy inactivity. Crap. Yeah, from inactivity, uh, they lost over 30 members. So they're a very lean guild right now. Oh, and they're kicking Helheim's ass. They wanted to make sure I said that. <laughs> From that, from that rivalry, <laughs> after all that shit, the rivalry, they're still kicking uh, Hellheim ass. <laughs> but anyway, Crucify, what do you think about rare tier? Um, it's actually kind of boring. There, there's only a drop right now, which is a shame. Uh, on my screen, I refreshed it. Wisteria it hasn't actually dropped one. They just stuck at 22, so I don't know what's going on there. Yeah. But, um. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's a close between all of them, don't get me wrong, but it's just kind of a boring tier right now, so we'll see what happens. I'm rooting for Black Dragon, because their story, just like in LCS, which is not L LCS anymore, rest in peace, dude. Rest in peace are our freaking history with that esport, but um, stories like this make me latch on to guilds and, like, really want to support them, so uh, good luck to all of you. Wisteria, <laughs> just can't well ski. I do that because he's here. <laughs> All right. So that's the top 25 positions within the SGL. We're now going to move on to the tier two positions, which is where we dub it the tier two positions. Um, and this is where we see the guilds who have dropped out of the SGL or are fighting to get back into or f to, you know, be first time contenders within the SGL. So we got this. I'm going to hide Crazy Fire real quick because he's kind of in the way. <laughs> Crease is dead. All right. Oh, no. Oh, I should have myself, too, because I'm in the way. Boop. All right. So this is tier two. Uh, this is 26 to 30 through the 35th position, if I do want to be grammarly correct. <laughs> and at 26, we have Helheim, which Black Dragon just nuked to the ground. Just kidding. I love, the I love Helheim, too. They're really nice to me. They give me drama as well. The Crimson Tower moving forward at 27. What the frick, Caveman? 28, we have Dante's Inferno. 29, we have Hell, which is Heaven and Hell. Uh, they might be dead. Uh, dead Void at 30. Teletubbies, the best skill name ever at 31. With the freaking spear icon. Drifters at 32. Step and Chill at 33. Murder of Crows just sadly falling to the nether at 34. And then Nightwings a new guild at 35. So that's tier two. We hope to see some of these guilds come into the, S or the, yeah, the SGL, technically the top 25, uh, and to shake things up. Cause rare tier is very, um, shaky right now. It's, it's not stable and it would be cool to see some of these names. Right. Like, I mean, Helheim's right there, you know, Helheim crazy fire. Can you imagine Crimson Tower returning? <laughs> can you imagine this shit? I didn't think it was going to happen either. Yeah. Boop. All right. Oh. But that we're back. We're not dead. We we tricked you. I'm so sorry, chat. Um. But that is the SGL. Chris, if you want to listen to the outro for the segment. Yeah. Uh. Thank you everyone for joining us for this uh rendition or report of the SGL. Uh. Thank you to the VOD squad who will be watching this later. We really appreciate all the support. Uh, it's always fun to go over these numbers and see the movements and the drama that occurs from it. And we look forward to the next week. That'll be it. That'll be it.